It's Sean Khalifa, man Yeah I see it clearly The money that is Oh, oh, y'all niggas ain't in the way Keep doing what you're doing <laughs> See right through you Go Lakers uh, week 34 of the beer blog. Uh, Mitchell's half awake, so he might not be as lively as he normally is. Which is very lively. <laughs> but he's sitting on this side, and then Britt's gonna walk in the room here in a second. Um, go Packers! Packers Steelers Super Bowl! Woo! There she is! <laughs> uh, so this week, I wanted to try a beer from a brewery that we had previously tried something from and so this week we have something that might we might not really like but it might be good who knows banana thing was a weird choice last week and it turned out pretty good so uh this week we have one called three philosophers and it's in this very nice bottle you can see their labels great and what i really like about these guys uh i'm a gang is that they actually give some information about their beer Actually, I looked at all the bottles, and they all, like, tell about the beer a little bit. Um, talk about themselves in a little brief paragraph, and most people are just like, Perfect. Boom, here's a beer. It's a porter. Other breweries. Learn. Yeah. <laughs> if we go see these guys, they're, apparently they're in Brussels, and so if we have to stop in Brussels on our Euro trip, and we see, like, a Ama Gang representative, we're going to be like, Yo, dude, way to go. Yeah. Yeah. So... <laughs> Um, a little bit about this beer. Uh, it is 98% ale, 2% ale brewed with cherries. So we know that there's going to be a cherry flavor, and we don't really like cherry flavor that much, but uh, maybe it'll be good. This one is 9.8%, so it is pretty strong. Brittany's going to drink half of this. Uh, the bottle says, It is created by blending a rich, malty, Belgian-style ale with authentic creek. I don't know what that is. A classic cherry ale from Belgium. That's what it is. Uh, our quadruple is cultured yet wild, curious yet wise. Sounds... I mean, there's a little quote from Plato on here, but whatever. So, um, what do we know about this? We did a little research. So it's obviously going to be some cherry flavors. Uh, supposed to be real malty. Belgian styles are typically malty, and we usually dig the, the maltiness. Now, it's a quadruple, and I forget exactly what that means, but usually, like, triples and quadruples are, are really strong because they go through the... Uh, the brewing process longer, so they get like more hops and yeast and stuff added, so they're stronger, which leads to the 9.8%. Bet you didn't know that. No, I did not. And, okay, let's give this a go. Ready for this? But if I shook it up, it would be like champagne. Hey, oh! <laughs> Happy New Year! <laughs> We're a little late. Oh, has a nice smell to it. A nice, uh,. Nice ale smell. I thought it was going to be red. That's a lot. Big ol' head. Well, you're drinking out of this one too, so... Mm -hmm. That's my car payment, but... That's okay. <laughs> um, I don't know, it's kind of a it's kind of a nice amber color, I would say. A nice, like, brown... Looks a little bit dark on the screen. Yeah, it's a little better over here in the light. Uh, it's just a nice brown color. Nice. A little bit of red. Kind of like a Killian's almost, I dare say. Yes. Very similar to that. Uh, it like a Killian's. No, it smells kind of kind of yeasty. I feel like uh, yeah, I get the cherries. Yeah, I can I can smell the cherries in with the the yeasty, but I feel like the dominating flavor is really really just a yeasty flavor, probably from being a quadruple. Is my guess. Yeah. But uh, let's give this thing a a taster. Ooh. Oh my god, I'm gonna hate it. It is real yeasty. I'm gonna hate it. You're not gonna hate it. The cherries are kind of an undertone. Mitchell looks like he hates it. <laughs> oh, I'm still waking up. <laughs> <laughs> Mitchell just uh, took a nice like four hour nap, so he's just gonna jump right into beer drinking. I don't feel like you would like this. Actually, you like the cereal killer, don't you? Kind of. Somewhere. It's, not... it's got a real. It's got a real big yeasty taste with kind of the cherry undertones and the kind of the yeasty taste is mixed with like a a malty it's kind of a malty yeast flavor I would say I mean it's not I mean, 
We've had a lot of people try the serial killer. It's a little bit similar to that, but it's not really like the, the grainy taste. It's more of just like a, I don't know, a weak Cheerio-ish kind of kind of flavor. No. Too late. We've gone too far. What are your thoughts, Mitchell? Hmm. Just one second. <laughs> I think it smells worse than it tastes. <laughs> it smells worse than it tastes. I don't know. On, on second taste, you get a lot more of the cherries, I feel like. Yeah. On second sip. Maybe because I was looking for more, but... I'm getting some cherries. Some fruitiness. Definitely some fruitiness. Some fruitiness and uh, kind of a... Just, just really the malty, yeasty mix. I don't know. That's, it's not bad. I was thinking it might actually be worse because I thought there would be a real big... Real big dominating cherry flavor. And for being 10%, it doesn't really... taste like 10% mm. yeah, to me. like 10%. No. 9.8, whatever. Close enough. <laughs> Mitchell's making a non-desirable face. <laughs> I, I don't know if I like it or I don't like it. Dude, well, you're going to have to decide here pretty quick. My face says no, but <laughs> my mouth says yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, it all blends well, but it's just kind of a an odd combination of flavors for me. Like the yeast, the yeast from like being a quadruple with the, the malts is... It's kind of a weird mix, and then the cherries just like throws in a whole, whole different flavor to to go with those. Yeah, eh, it's not bad. No, you definitely can't taste the ten percent. No, if I was trying to get hammered, I mean, I could just, you know, drink yeah, a bottle of this. It up. I'm it's kind of like the last one we had. Oh, it is actually. Yeah, the last Abby was like ten percent, and that was real good. That was great. Um, let's go ahead and give this a rating, and we will start with Mrs. Holmes. Miss yes. Holmes. Ms. Mm, 2.7. <laughs> 2.7, okay. Mitchell? 3.5. I am going to give this a 3. And usually I give stuff 3 because it's like real average, but I feel like this one's really unique, but I just, I don't really like the unique qualities that it has. Yeah, I don't, I don't like cherries. I don't, I'm not a big fan of cherries, even though they're not very dominating, but just the, the mix of all the, the tastes is just kind of kind of off for me like I, I can respect that it's a quality made beer but it's just just not really my cup of tea or a glass of beer if you will understood yep. anything else nah <clears throat> alright go Packers <laughs>